Hey, good people. How y'all doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I know that it's been a while, but your girl is back and better than ever. And I figured, why not start a video? <clears throat> and I figured, why not hop back on here and start and finish what we started? And that is with Married at First Sight, Season 16. You guys, tonight, if you don't know, it is Decision Day. And I wanted to share with you all my view, my opinion on who I think is going to stay together and who I think is going to call it quits. So let's jump right into the video. Let's start with Shaq and Kirsten. Now, these two couples, this couple right here is picture perfect in my opinion. They're both good looking people and they look good together. However, just because you look good together does not, need, does not mean that you should be together. Therefore, I do not think that neither Shaq nor Kirsten <clears throat> therefore, I do not believe neither Shaq nor Kir Therefore, I believe neither Shaq nor Kirsten are going to choose to say yes on decision day. I will say this, I was a little torn between my answer to this. I was a little <clears throat> I was a little torn between how I felt about this because obviously starting from the beginning of the season, we saw that Kirsten was not feeling Shaq at all and he was head over heels. Now we're at the end of the season and it's like a reversal almost. And I feel like it really started to get different between the two of them when they consummated their marriage. I feel like as a viewer, I could tell almost the next time that we saw them when that actually happened because Kirsten, she was all over Shaq, okay? She was feeling her some Shaq. And then it got to the point where she was feeling him, but he wasn't feeling her as much as she was feeling him. And I think... The pressure, obviously, of being on the show of, I think a lot of these contestants come on here and they think, okay, they're going to match me to the perfect match and everything is going to go according to plan and we're going to just be great. And obviously, that's not the case. So I do believe Shaq, when he says that Kirsten, in his mind, does not support him. And that is a big thing for Shaquille. Not only is that a big thing for him, but also family is a big deal. The fact that it took him so long to meet her dad, to me as a viewer, I was surprised because I'm surprised he even met her dad because I was feeling like you're not going to meet her dad because she does not, she, she is not going to pick you on decision day. That's what I was feeling. So when he said that he met the father, I was really taken aback by that. But the fact that I guess he didn't want to film and stuff like that and Kirsten's family is not as close as Shaq's family, I think all of those things play a role and why he might not say yes on decision day. Not to mention, you guys remember a couple of episodes ago, not even, about a handful of episodes ago, she was trying to say, you know, she wanted Shaq to buy her a house and this, that, and the third. And that conversation, I think, really rubbed him the wrong way because obviously he's still in school. He still has his responsibilities that he has to take care of from a financial standpoint. And the fact that she did not seem like she was willing to put in any money or anything like that for them to be able to build this house or have this house that she was talking about, I think that definitely rubbed him the wrong way. On her end, I feel like Shaq is just not masculine enough for her. We saw a couple of episodes back as well with her where she kind of questioned his manhood a little bit. And I think that probably threw Shaq off as well. Like that probably turned him off. But the fact that she's having these questions about her husband not looking good. It doesn't look good to me. The fact that she feels like they're just never on the same page, that's not a good look either. I do believe that she's trying. I believe that she's made leaps and bounds from where she was when she first started, but I think it's still going to be a no for her on decision day. You guys let me know what you think. Let's move on to who do I want to talk about next? Ooh, Aris and Jasmine. This is one couple that really confuses the mess out of me. They do because they have gone this whole season, not really, he's not really been feeling her. She's been really trying to be a wife to him and it's been a whole mess. And now we get to the end of the season and it's like, all of a sudden, Aris realizes maybe she's not so bad after all. It's like, Aris, sir, how come you didn't see any of these good qualities with her prior to. And it's not that he didn't see it. I think he doesn't appreciate the woman that she is. 
And it's not of any fault to him, I would say, because Aris has been very honest about who he is, what he likes, what he feels. I think he is who he is. And attraction is something that, yes, you can grow into, but initially, if you don't have that little bit of a spark, it might be a little difficult, especially if you're someone like Aris. So... <clears throat> The fact that he didn't have that, the fact that his cousin was all up and through their relationship for no good reason, and I'm so happy we don't see her on our TV screens anymore, all of those play a role into, I think, why I feel like he might say, and I'm going to say might because I'm not 100% 100 sure with Aris, but I believe he might say no on decision day. My friend had a very interesting theory. She said he really likes Jasmine, but he's afraid of his cousin. Now, I don't know if that's all the way true, but, you know, you got to tell yourself something, right? Anywho, on Jasmine's end, I think that she's tried as much as she can try. She's done all that she can do. And girl, it's okay to say no and just bow out gracefully. That's my opinion as it relates to her. She has tried to meet Aris where he's at. And it then got to a point for her where it was just like, you know what? Now I'm going to shut down. And I feel like that's kind of where she's at. I do believe, though, that these two have consummated their marriage, and maybe on Aris's part, excuse me, on Aris's part, that's the reason why he never really got into liking Jasmine on the level that we as the viewers felt like he could like her on, because she's a very likable woman. But I think maybe because he was turned off from that experience, it just turned him off completely to her. You guys let me know what you feel about that, but I will also say, that Aris definitely did like a 360 or whatever you want to call it when they had that couples retreat and he left and he went home and he realized, oh my goodness, I miss Jasmine. I miss the dogs. So I think that that was a turning point in their relationship, but I think it's a little too late at this particular point in time to turn that ship in the right direction. Now let's talk about Clint and Gina.